is probably a, a right eye, which then would make right here would be your rectus, 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 oblique, oblique. <laughs> but I won't ask you that on the right. sheep's eye. All right, so here is a sheep's eye. This is the cornea. This back here, this white part, is your sclera. The fibrous tunic is made up of the sclera, then in the front it continues into the cornea. Okay. Now we are going to open up the eye and separate the anterior cavity from the posterior cavity. So I'm cutting through here. I'm just going to take off. I know, it's like People eat too much things that they should have. Okay. <laughs> so, the anterior cavity consists of the cornea to the lens, and anything behind the lens is the posterior cavity. So now we're looking into the posterior cavity. And it's filled with jelly-like stuff, which is vitreous humor. And then if you see through the vitreous humor, you can kind of see a little thin gray curtain -y. That That's the retina. I'm going to try not to pull it out when I pull out the vitreous, but it's going to want to come out with the vitreous because the vitreous kind of keeps that retina pushed against the walls. So you can see how that curtain wants to come with the vitreous when I pull it out. So there's the vitreous humor. See how it's jelly-like? And there's the retinal layer right there. And then the inner layer, is that the, that's the choroid? The choroid would be that inner layer. Now if I pull the retina layer off the choroid layer here, you can see how all that kind of collapses. I'll get out the rest of that vitreous. But then see how it'll come off the sides pretty easily except for right there. Optic disc? That's the optic disc. For, that's where the retina then will go through the optic disc and become the optic nerve passing that way. And actually, look at here. This shows you those little extra fibers. So that area right there would be the fovea centralis. That's that focal point of very visual acuity. So things you need to see really, really clearly and precisely get focused right through there. But I wouldn't normally ask you that on the sheep side because a lot of times it doesn't show up. Okay. <coughs> so here's the retina layer, which is the neural tunic in the posterior chamber. This white layer right here is your, fiber, is your sclera, part of the fibrous tunic. I can separate out this right here. That's your choroid. That layer. Sometimes it separates. Yeah. There's your choroid, which is part of your vascular tunic. Now notice how that shiny, pretty area in that part of the choroid, that's the tapetum lucidum. You guys don't have to know that. Only animals have that, but that's why when um, you see them at night, their eyes glow at you. Okay? All right. So that is all the stuff of the posterior cavity of the eye. And now we're going to move on to the anterior cavity. So here's the sclera continuing to the cornea. And then the choroid continues to this structure right here that's holding the lens in place. That's your ciliary body. If I start pulling out the lens, the lens is attached to the ciliary body by little ligaments called suspensory ligaments. Let me get some more of that jelly stuff off. You probably won't see them. They're just kind of clear, and I'm detaching them as I pull it out. You might be able to see them as they detach. See those little strings? Oh. Mm. But th I'm detaching them, so I've broken those suspensory ligaments now. So here is the lens, okay? And you can see how the lens was sitting within the ciliary body, and then the ciliary body in front of the lens projects out this little flap. That's the iris. The opening between the irises in the center is the pupil. So the pupil is an opening. And then that is your iris itself. That's the ciliary body. The ciliary, and bo the ciliary body and the iris are still part of the vascular tunics. 
So the vascular tunic is the choroid in the posterior mm -hmm. cavity, and then ciliary body and iris in the anterior cavity. Now the anterior chamber of the anterior cavity is between the cornea and the iris, and then the posterior chamber of the anterior cavity is between the iris and the lens. Okay? And that is the eye.